I just watched the episode. <laughs> it was an episode, all right. <laughs> Enjoy the reaction. Yeah, YouTube, all right. There has to be a reason why this is the season finale. Who's gonna go off? Is it gonna be Kugisaki or Itadori? I am so nervous, but I hope it's Kugisaki because we haven't seen that yet. Oh my god, Itadori, he's using that as an excuse to hold her. I know you. I know you, Itadori, you fucking pervert. I don't blame him though, for real. Any chance I'd get to hold her, I'd do it. Man, I am so excited right now. This is so tense. They're not gonna get away. This is gonna be a full fucking battle right here. But it's not gonna be 2v1. That wouldn't be fair. Yo! We're gonna have a 1v1 on each side. This gives a chance to Kugisaki to shine on her own. Why is this dude wearing a fucking bow tie, bro? He kind of looks like me with my neck tattoo. Why does the one character in anime and he has to look like me? It has to be him. All I need to do is do that hairstyle and I would look like him. And that fucking worries me. But that would be, be my technique. The tattoo technique. I'd give everyone fucking tattoos, bro. I wouldn't be worried. You know it's the finale. The animation just shot up to tenfold this time. Look at this shit. Ten minutes, my ass, bro. Ten minutes in anime time is like ten fucking seasons. Nothing but bones will remain. My little asshole. Dude's explaining his poison. You could have not told him and just watched him die, but instead it has to be anime and you have to explain everything. I love it. What a life. I thought I had a hard life because people called me a tomato in high school because of my acne. Jesus Christ! Bro, whenever you think you had a bad life, just look at an anime backstory and you'll feel like you were blessed. God, anime really makes you question life. Makes you count your blessings. How are you in this room looking at that thing so calmly? My God. What kind of love triangle is this? We three are one. This is what I need, bro. I need two wives. Yes! Just do it already! This could have been over! Oh my gosh, she's laughing. She's laughing. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> That's the hottest thing I've ever seen ever! Listen, I don't care what you are, gay, straight, curved, I don't give a fuck. If this didn't turn you on, you better go back to horny school, whatever, bro. No, look at... Let's play a game of chicken. cock a doodle do. <laughs> oh my god. Once she started laughing, bro, my heart started beating. I love how we're focusing on her for the finale, bro. Finally, finally! Shit! Oh my god! Guys, guys! Fuck, man! Oh, shit! <laughs> Look at her, bro! You better be sweating! I'm sweating, but for a different reason. It's fucking hot in here, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> Any second now, you're gonna see my ears squirting like, like, like a pussy. Oh god, it's a finale. There's words in the song. Oh shit. When there's words in a song, it's a big episode, okay? They don't just put words in a song if it's not a big episode. I wish you would say my full name. Oh 
What the fuck is this, man? This is too much for me right now. What are you doing to me? It's the holy day. It's a Sunday right now. I'm supposed to be praising the Lord. Oof. I'm feeling really unholy right now. He has to release the technique so we can save his brother. And they explain that they're living for each other. So that's how they use it. They use it towards their advantage right there, man. Oh, 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 <laughs> the finale music. Why do I feel bad for this ugly little shit? Is it because I was ugly? Literally watching this video is like getting a vasectomy because I'm not gonna have enough in me to ever have a child because I'm letting it all out right now from this video alone. This is just too much. This is too much for me to handle, guys. This episode should be illegal. I have never, ever seen something like that. It's like this show balances itself with music. Like with the bam, bam, bam. And the scenes change. That was so fucking good, man. Look at this. <laughs> the way it speeds up. This song, get the fuck on my phone. I don't know the name of you, but I'm gonna find out right now. I, I can't believe what I'm watching right now. I knew he had no chance when I looked at him, but still, oh my god. Oh my god, no you haven't. Oh my god, bro, she's like, so, have I showed you this one? No, you have not, and you can show me whatever else you want. You can stick whatever pen you have inside of me. I will thank you. Even if I'm dead, I'll find a way to go from hell from, from to, to the earth just to thank you. The music, the action. Her, oh, oh my god, bro. She is in god mode. I feel bad for him. Why? I feel like I relate to, uh, to ugly people, ugly things, because I was ugly once. I, I still am. I love this look on her face. She's fucking ballistic crazy right now. It's a physical body. You mean I have the possibility of looking like that? Oh, you're dead. Oh my god, I listen, bro. How the fuck is he running? He's Sonic the Hedgehog! And Adorni doesn't care. Oh yeah, he does care. Why does he have to care about these people? Why does he have to have a good heart? Bro, that's the most horrific sight you'll ever witness. What is that woman doing? I don't know, but I'm here for it. It's like there's nothing emotional, but it's so powerful that it makes you fucking emotional, man. Holy shit, I swear only this show could do this. Where it's not like an emotional backstory scene, but it can still get me tearing. It gets, oh my god, and it's the music. It's that Kingdom Hearts style piano. They know what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing with this. Look at this, man. Sorry, sorry. I can't believe it. Instead of like a hardcore screamo part right there, it was so beautiful with that piano, like a beautiful death for the character. It kind of goes with who the character was. Like he was this beautiful, you know, pretty dude, and then he dies. Meanwhile, what are y'all doing? This is as anime as it gets. They can end this motherfucking war immediately. Honestly, I would do the same thing. Fuck the world. Like, literally, 
the war of the nations could be happening. My dad could be in the middle of a battle. But if I'm in a game of, of poker or sorry or, God forbid, Candyland, you, you, you gotta wait. Isn't it crazy to think we haven't seen the craziest potential for these people yet? And they've already done so much. I can't believe this guy's still alive. Dude, like, where is this show gonna go? This is season one. First time. Kill oh. Got worried for a second. Like, it adored you. This ain't the time for touchy touchy, but okay. Look how calm she is. <laughs> I'll sit on that seat. Oh my god, that was so cute. How the fuck do you think about that on spot? She's talking about seats, and then she mentions how Itadori brought his own seat and sat down, because that's the kind of person he is. That metaphor right there, that's the kind of people you want, man. People that take fucking action. He said sorry before he... This show does stuff to me, bro, that no girl ever could do. He cried. Mm. This is why this show is so special. A character like Ida Doherty, where it's not annoying, like, oh, he wants to save everyone? Like, can you just kill the motherfucker because the motherfucker's pissing me off? No, like, he's very careful, and if it's a life, he, he values it, and he doesn't want to take a life, he wants to save lives. And if that means saving the life of someone that's taken others' lives and causing harm to life itself, it means even more to him if he saves their life. This is why this show is so beautiful. Itadori, the characters in this show are unlike any other anime I've watched. And I've watched a couple. Nothing compared to what you've probably watched, your fucking novel sized of shows you've watched. But I've watched a good five, okay? I finished like two. I'm still learning, I'm still a, a weeb in training, but this is amazing character development right here. It just makes me so excited to see where it could go. This only being season one with a little prequel movie that they're not even in. I can't even imagine where this is going to go. The potential is limitless with this show. He's crying because his brother died and we're looking at him like a curse. It's so beautiful, man. I can't even laugh right now. I'm not fucking laughing, no matter what. I don't care if a bird comes in and starts talking, I'm not laughing. No, no, stop it. <laughs> oh shit. Plot twist. Fushiguro just swallows the finger. Stop it, stop it. No, I'm not trying to laugh. His fucking hand ate the finger. In any other place in life has anyone ever said that sentence? His hand ate the finger. How does anyone even form that sentence? It doesn't even sound right. Bro, we barely scratched the surface with Sukuna. This is what I mean, man. This dude just ate another finger. Imagine how much more powerful he is now. She's been waiting to get his fucking car the entire time, bro. My Uber would have left. Do you know what they just went through, the three of them? Jesus Christ! This is like the suicide bridge, now I understand why! I would jump off it right after this night! Seeing God with a cell phone in his hand is just so weird. Who's that? Why am I crying, man? What the fuck is wrong with me? Jesus Christ, Gojo! <laughs> what an amazing show. This season was incredible, man. Season one, what a start. Oh, I won't. It seems like this that make me so happy. I started watching anime, man. Pit and Maki! Oh my god, I was getting worried I wouldn't see them, thank god. One last time, don't touch her like that, Panda. Panda! Oh, you won't. Oh my god. I wish she would do that to me. Hit me with your staff. I'll hit you with mine. I hate this old bastard. Will he die? Will he die already? My brother is a Dori Yuji! 
He kills ah! <laughs> This is the greatest episode, man. Hey, the daughter, you are the luckiest man in the world. Anime, real world, whatever. You are the luckiest man. I dropped that bag too if the man getting hit by her. How dare you leave us on a cliffhanger? Now I'm about to hang myself off a cliff. So I mentioned this in the middle of the video. What I love mostly about Jujutsu Kaisen is its characters. Every character they show, they give time to explain who they are. We get to learn their powers. We get to understand why they're here, who they are, where they want to go, their attitudes, their quirks. And you really get close to these characters from a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh looking character like Fushiguru to a literal panda that talks that turns into a gorilla, a gorilla and a... I can't believe it, man. This show is great. It's great. The action is incredible. The animation, I love how it balances like this sorcery with this like city atmosphere. Like at the end, they're shopping. Uh, fucking 10 minutes ago, they were on a bridge, a suicidal bridge that was a demon itself fighting a guy with a demon back. And like, how do you even explain this show? That's what I love the most, the things you can't explain, the mysteries. It just scares me, man. Going to Japan, like what am I gonna see when I go there? Am I gonna see shit like this? Because I don't see Americans thinking like this, creating media like this. They don't create shit like this. Ja only Japanese people do that, bro. Oh my god, I, that's why I want to go there. I want to see what it's all about. If I start seeing fucking sorcery and talking pandas, I swear to god, man, I'm living there for the rest of my life. Anyways, guys, I want you to let me know down below what you thought of season one of Jujutsu Kaisen. Why did you love it? Don't just say I loved it, you fucking pussy. Explain to me why you loved it, or explain to me why you hated it or disliked it. Let me know. But other than that, I will see you all in the next video. I'm gonna go cry now because there's no more JJK videos until like next year. At least there's a next year and there's another season. Better be more than two seasons. This better go on forever. Goodbye.